Man, I had to come get me a uh, Mountain Dew. Here at 7-Eleven because we got some work we got to do today. If you watched yesterday's video, you seen that we made uh, molds for some door panels. And we are going to go home right now, rip the mold off, clean up the door panel, and then shape the, the mold up to the shape that we need for our door panel. And I will be showing you the truck as well that the door panels are going on. But if this is your first time on my YouTube channel, man, I say it every video, man, subscribe to the channel if you like car audio builds. Uh, definitely hit the like button and drop some comments. Even if you drop an emoji or something, it helps push the videos out for your boy. You know what I'm saying? We hit the big 5K and next is the big 10K, man. So don't forget to subscribe, hit that like and drop them comments. Actually started, uh, well, I've already had it, but I'm starting to post a little bit more. Well, I'm going to post a little bit more on my regular Life of Mouse Trap channel, man. The link will be in the description of this video. Uh, and then I also have my car channel. I'm going to start to concentrate on all those, man. So we got a lot of grinding to do. But if you want to support your boy, man, definitely uh, click, go on the description of the video. Tap both of the links, subscribe because man, your boy's on the grind, man. We're, we're trying to, you know, go up 2023, and you guys will be a part of it, man. But for now, man, let's ride home, enjoy some bass, uh, and then we're gonna get to work. I ain't even gonna lie to you, gang, man. The bass in the Silverado, I just feel like it just gets louder and louder. Man. Like, I don't know if the sub's broke in. Uh, maybe I wasn't jamming it like how I was supposed to in the beginning. But, man, that bass is beating, you know. And, I mean, I'm surprised the subs ain't blow yet. This is actually the truck that we're working on. Uh, it's a F-150. Uh, I think maybe it's an older 90s or maybe early 2000s. Uh, has a little airbrush on top. Pretty dope. Uh, it's got some 24s and man the back is like squatting look at this so the way they get it to squat down is they drop it uh, but it gets so low it'll hit the bed but um they notch it out and then they put like a c-notch i don't know if we can see the c-notch oh yeah look you see the c-notch so the frame or the body of the truck drops right below the axle but with that um dog house i think that's what they call it uh, it clears it so it squats and then it's got the bigger tubs i think that's what they call so the tires don't rub it looks good you know i didn't think he had all this going on when i initially saw the truck at truck meets but i mean he's got some work into it you know what i'm saying and i think it's squatting pretty good when i look at this truck it gives me like 90 vibes of when i used to go to car shows and carry like a big old camera and recording like car shows and all that stuff man so it makes me you know go back in time and you know relive those moments in my head and we're doing three tens uh, one bigger horn and two smaller horns per door we're just doing the two front doors and then we're gonna wrap them in vinyl and we are gonna run speaker wires into the doors for him but he says he's gonna load his own speakers and connect it to his amp which is dope I always encourage everybody to work on their own car so they can know their car you see what I'm saying uh, like I think I've already done like two or three cars or trucks for this truck club man so this shout out the door to panel man it's not really even that sticky to be honest with you um so we're gonna rip the door panel off or the mold off if we want to get technical in terms then we're gonna rip all the tape off um same thing with the other door then we're gonna come through and just give it a quick wash with some acetone just to you know get all the the gloss shininess off of it um then we're gonna actually really sit down with a um flat ruler and you know draw nice lines uh, then come through with our cutoff wheel and shape it up and get it really good so then after that our molds are complete So 
we got a majority of the tape off we can't get all of it sadly but here it is we're gonna go ahead and get some acetone and just we're just gonna wipe it down a little bit um, just to get some of the tackiness off Okay, so we actually gave the molds a little bit of a acetone wash. Uh, so now we're actually gonna draw out the lines to actually get the shape of the door panel that we want. Uh, I got a real flexible flat bar um, that I'm gonna use so I can draw a nice straight line since it's you know nice and metal and solid uh, so we can create our lines. And once we actually get into the center, uh, I'll just find something laying around so I can create a nice curve. Uh, but the flat bar will do for pretty much uh, everything else. Okay, so let's draw our first initial line for the door panel, which will be the bottom one. And that actually looks pretty good. Let's, draw this. Uh, let's go ahead and draw this one. I'm going to be using my speaker ring to create my curve for this part of the door panel. Bam. So now let's create this line right here. So we actually have a cut line already for everything. Look at that. Bam. Going around. Now we may have to adjust it after we get done cutting it just so we have perfect cut or a perfect cut out mold um, template for our door panel so I'm gonna go ahead and get the other door panel do a cut line on it then we are gonna put the cutoff field that we bought for our grinder and go ahead and cut this guy out man I'm very excited this is when the door panels start taking shape a few moments later she's gonna go ahead and take our grinder with a cutoff field on her and we're gonna go ahead and cut out our cut lines on our molds so they can finally start taking some shape. So let's do it. So we got them cut out. You just seen it. Um, and they came out good. We got nice lines going everywhere. Nice contour lines going from the side. So like right here, once I get the, the a sanding pad on the grinder, man, we can curve those out pretty good. Same thing right here. We can curve it out a little bit. Same thing right here. And over here too. But man, most of it, we got some nice sharp lines. And this is the base of our door panel so the next step from here is i'm gonna i'm actually still waiting for rings to actually get here so then we can actually start figuring out the layout of the door panels and then i can sit here and figure out and draw lines on where i need to take some of this mold um, cutouts out so the speakers can clear through areas right here uh, i'm just gonna wait till i sand it out with um, the disc grinder so I have nice smooth edges, so it looks really good. And if I need to take any uh, off, uh, I will do that, you know, sanding it down versus cutting it out. Cause I'd rather grind a little bit as I go in this section, give it one nice swoop versus, you know, cutting it out and it'd be a jagged edges. But you know, that's it on this phase of it. Same thing with this door panel. It's just sitting here, but it's, you know, we got nice lines everywhere. Looks really good. And like I said, we're going to do the same thing once we get that grinding disc on the grinder. I mean, we're going to smooth it all out. Uh, maybe just do one quick grind on it, uh, sanding on it. So when we go to put the stands to place speaker rings, uh, the hot glue can really bond from the mold to the rings. You see what I'm saying? 
Sadly, we got to come to an end right here. Definitely hit that like button if you like today's video. Drop any comments or anything or just drop any type of emoji. Uh, subscribe to the channel so you can stay updated with all the videos. Man, but turn on that notification bell so you know every time we drop a video. Definitely check out the description of the video. Uh, just click on the links and subscribe to the other channels. Man, support your boy. Uh, man, because we got a lot of things going on for 2023 and we're only getting started in the second month of the year. Let's get it. So with that being said, I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Peace.